welcome back to the endless learning here i am back with one more lecture regarding the characteristic of the evaluation tool we have been discussing from past four uh, three four lectures about the characteristics of the evaluation tool we have discussed it so far that uh, what is the validity and the types of the validity uh, we have also discussed the reliability and the methods or the types of the reliability we have uh, also discussed about the norms and now in this video lecture we will discuss about the objectivity and the usability of a test let us start with the objectivity objectivity is an important characteristic of an evaluation tool without objectivity the reliability or the validity of a test is the matter of a question it's the prerequisite for both the validity and the objectivity objectivity of a test indicates two things one it indicates the item objectivity and second it indicates the scoring objectivity let's first discuss about the item objectivity which refers to the item that must call for the definite single answer as we have discussed in the previous video lecture about the objective type questions or we can say evaluation tools um, a definite answer is being expected by the examiner or the test taker while framing the objective type questions some points has to be kept in mind by the test taker or the examiner these we have already discussed in that uh, video lecture if you have not watched that video lecture uh, the link of that video lecture is given in the description box of this video the concepts like the ambiguity in the question or we can say the use of double negative uh, words in the question or lack of proper direction affects the objectivity of the test let us suppose i have asked the students to write about the dr apj abul kalam this is the well known personality and everybody knows about him the students will write any number of words and any number of paras as this question does not have any objectivity because here the answer will have different perspectives from different individuals and also the evaluation if i ask the students who is known as the missile man of india obviously this question has only one answer and even the biasness of the evaluator will not affect the scoring so all the items of the test should be objective and then the scoring objectivity objectivity of scoring refers whosoever checked the test paper would fetch the same score means if examiner a b c d has checked the test paper would give the same score as given by the examiner x y z it refers to that the subjectivity the personal judgment or the biasness of a scorer or the examiner should not affect the score of a student most of the objective type questions should be framed in the test to maintain the objectivity of the test the essay type questions as we have already discussed in the previous video lecture about um, this evaluation tool also the essay type questions are subjective and the score are being affected by the number of factors like we have discussed the mood of examiner or the language of the student used in the answer paper or the biasness of the examiner these essay type questions can have objectivity if the scoring key is framed and also the proper directions for the scoring are being provided uh, to the examiner this is the objectivity of a test and next we will discuss about the usability of a test usability refers to the practicability of a test it refers to the degree to which the test can be successfully used by the teacher or we can say the evaluators as this usability of test depends on upon certain aspects comprehensibility the test item should be free from ambiguity and the directions of the test item and other directions of the test must be clearly 
written and must be understandable to all the directions for scoring how to score a test and the interpretations of those scores must be within the comprehension of the user of that test if the direction for the administration are complicated or if they need more time or more labor the user may lag behind to use such type of test the directions for the administration must also be clear and concise the test paper should be constructed according to the availability of the time lengthy tests involving more time may not be preferred for use and if uh, the test is not available at the time when it is needed it lacks its usability most of the standard tests are of high validity and reliability but their unavailability affects the usability of that particular test so it is desirable that in order to be a reliable the test must be readily and easily available to the users the cost of the test must be cheap so that the schools or the teachers can afford to purchase and use those tests if it is costly then every school cannot avail that particular test so a good test should be of reasonable price a test is considered to be a good if the test scores obtained can be easily interpreted for this the test manual should provide the age norms grade norms or the percentile norms or the standard score norms as we have discussed the no these in the norms in the previous video if you have not watched that video the link of that video is a in the description box of this video so when the manual is being provided for the norms a test score can be interpreted easily so interpretability of the test refers to how readily the raw score of a test can be derived and understood by the user a test in order to be usable must ensure ease of scoring the scoring procedure must be very simple one all the directions of scoring and also the scoring key should be available to make the scoring an objective one the examiner's bias or the handwriting of the examinee should not affect the scoring of the test as we have already discussed these in the previous video lectures i hope you have understood about this objectivity and the usability so for now we have discussed all the five characteristics of a good evaluation tool that is reliability validity we have also discussed about the norms and now the objectivity and the usability i hope you have understood these lectures don't forget to like this video and share this video with others so that the student community get benefited with this video if you are new to our channel click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the notifications of upcoming lectures thank you all for supporting us thank you for watching this video god bless you